Well, here we go. Another City Fix video and another ridiculously huge interchange roundabout monstrosity that is backed up with traffic. This city was sent in by middle-aged kids and it is a disaster. Look at the traffic. It is horrendous. Down to almost 2%, which is unbelievable. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's everywhere. Uh, also, before we dive into fixing up all of this stuff, I would like to thank Buddy, who has been a top-tier patron of mine this month very much appreciated he's going to be named as one of my producers of this video there's only three slots left if you also wish to be a top tier patron that will be linked in the comments below oh look at this traffic all backed up here he does city skylines videos as well so if you want to go and check those out that will be linked below so you can see that too and yeah let us dive into all of this oh my goodness me Oh my goodness me. So Buddy, who's been a top tier patron, is going to receive a nice mug. A biffer mug from me. I've also been helping him out with his YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, here we go. We've got, <laughs> we've got so much to do in this one. It is looking nuts. Right, so first of all, let's just take a look at this roundabout junction thing in here. And just by looking at it, and I've been watching it for a while, this truck going over the top, he's like one of the first I've seen using, oh there's another one there, using these lanes over the top. Uh, because, I mean, it's a bit hard to see, but if we go into underground mode, um, we've got a lot of metro lines coming down here. So don't be confused by this big square in the middle. That's the metro. But we can follow this green road here. The tunnel goes underneath, and then it basically comes out over here. Um, and that's how these work. So if you want to get from one side to the other and take a turn, all that sort of thing, there are options available, uh, but not everybody has taken them. I want to check, first of all, whether you have this set up correctly with your priority signs. Giveaway coming on. Giveaway coming on. Giveaway coming on. You do. I see. That is fine. Oh, look. You can see all the roads and the tunnels and the nodes for everything underneath. You've done your lane mathematics. You've got one lane coming over, joining another lane. And then they come here, and then they can come out and go where they like. See, a node like that, you've got the lanes. But you could just do with saying, look, when you... I don't know, actually. Where's your next node? Do you have a node there and a node there? Yeah, so they can change. So when these guys come out, you can say, you go there. There we go. You go there. You go there. And then you go there. And that will just get them moving out there a bit. But then they're all getting stuck here because they're getting stuck there. All right, we'll, we'll head over there in a minute. And then ideally what you want as well is everybody to prioritise the roads going over the top if they're going in that direction. So let us just look at the speeds. So the speeds for here are 90 and then 100 around the roundabout. So first of all, we're going to slow down that roundabout. If I go 60 and hold shift, is that going to do all the way around? No, it's going to do it junction to junction so let's just go around and do that slowing it down will have the twofold effect of making it easier for cars coming on if there's cars whizzing past and they're going a little bit slower one's look they're so bad they're just driving over the top of each other yeah there's cars coming round then cars coming on will get a better chance of getting on if the cars on the roundabout are going a bit slower and then we want the ones over the top to be super quick so I would say these could be 100. If we hold shift on that, that will go from one side to the other. Yeah, so if we get these four roads over the top there, that one, that one's been done, this one and this one. And then we'll turn it 90 degrees and do that one, that one, that one and this one. So that will do all of those over the top. Uh, the ones underneath, one, two, we can just, oh, it's easy to go around like this. Hopefully there's no junctions underneath that are stopping these changing all the way from one side to the other. Uh, that one's already been done. Those are already done. Yep, so they're literally going from one side to the other. By the way, as you can see, despawning is turned off because that is the way we do things here. Okay. Oh my goodness me. So what else do I see here? What else have we got to work with? We've got these big main roads coming down here, up there, heading out to almost this other big ring road that goes around here with these little roundabouts on. So let's just take a look at those. And I bet these roundabouts haven't been taken care of. No, they haven't. So we need to definitely head along this ring road and sort these out and just make sure that it isn't going to 
Yeah, so it's just sorting that out. We'll just do the giveaway signs first of all. So that is that ring road sort of taken care of. Let's just see if we can follow where it's all getting caught up. Now, this is something that doesn't always work, as we've seen all the other times you've done it, because you can get going round in a circle. You follow the traffic. So, like, it hits this roundabout. It's going down there. They're coming on. Okay, so it's still going this way. These are coming on. These are coming on. These are coming on. These are coming on. So they're all coming on. They're all getting stuck on this roundabout here. So the other thing you want to fix, which I'm going to have to go along and do on all the roundabouts as well, is this one here. And yeah, so you've got it set up. So people coming on to the roundabout and people going round the roundabout all have access at the same time. They won't stop. Um, so what you want to do is turn off the ones, this one here, for the ones coming on to the uh, roundabout. And then if we just watch that for a second or two, you'll notice how the cars start acting differently. And it will, they, oh look, they're starting to back up here now, leaving. <laughs> we'll follow that in a sec. But it will give the chance for those on there to move and get off and get out of the way, which is what you want. Well, that will work if it's not all blocked up here, which it is at the moment. So let's just take a look at this. They're coming here. What's going on here? I don't think there's any giveaway signs or anything here. So giveaway, you go through and keep moving. Mamma mia. Right, this is right nearby. So guys coming up here are going to get stuck on this one. So let's sort that. Let's also do the same thing where if you're on the roundabout, you get priority going around the thing like that. And then up here, oh, this is like a terrible junction. I'm actually going to put in, oh, there is traffic lights in there already. Really? Mm, okay. What are we at now? 10%. It's gone up a smidge. A smidge. Okay, so let's give the game a chance to put all that into action. Hopefully unclog some of these roundabouts here. I want to check the main road that's going. We've got this big main road through here. We've got another one top to bottom and these angular ones going out. Let's start with this one down here and sort of work around anti-clockwise. And I want to check that anybody coming in has the freedom to move and go where they like and there's no problems. You hold shift and hold it over there. You'll get it doing the whole main road in one go. And then all you want to do is make sure that when you come down here to the roundabout that this gets changed back again. There you go, like that. So we could do that on all of these roads. Okay, so that's all your main highway roads done. Uh, one more thing we need to do with this roundabout, completely forgot, is check your junction restrictions for people coming on. Yeah, again, you've got this set where people going round the roundabout and people coming on can enter this if it's blocked or not. We only want to give access to a block junction for those that are actually going around the roundabout. So we need to go around every single one of these. Now I'm going round and round in circles doing the same ones over and over again. <laughs> I think they're done. So what we should be able to see now is if we speed that up, is ones that are on the roundabout should theoretically keep moving. So they're all trying to get into the lanes here, which is a bit odd. So something you want to check as well as you're using Traffic Manager, if we come into the options for the game. Let's go into here and go into your Traffic Manager here. Is you want under Gameplay, well, you don't want Path of Evil, you want Holy City... There we go. And you want Enable Advanced Vehicle AI and the Dynamic Lane Selection. Now, the higher this is, the more CPU your game will use, um, but it will help the traffic use the lanes better. So I set it all the way up. And let's just go back to here and speed this up again and see whether they start using some different lanes. Look at that. And if things just get moving, half the battle is won. Look at that. That roundabout, actually on the roundabout, is not clogged up anymore. Look. So now cars can come on. Cars can keep moving. That is getting a bit of clogginess over here. So we might just take a look at what's happening there. But that is going fantastic. Yeah, it's all going to clog up there. Let's just follow this one down here. So what have we got? Everybody's coming off. They're picking their lanes. They're stopping here, which is a bit odd. We don't want that. We want them to use all of these lanes coming on. Well, we can test that. Let's have a look. Yeah, you've got that set up. Two, 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 and two. And also what you can do is you might as well use up the space. 
Go through, go through, go through. And just keep them filling up that space. And then they're all coming here and trying to turn up this way. I think that's just the way it's going to be there. This is just going to keep getting caught up. <laughs> what are we on? 38%. So it's actually getting there. Yeah, what I'm thinking of doing here, just to keep this traffic going and use some of these other junctions that we've got, is I'm going to stop them turning right here. Uh, it may be sort of a temporary fix. And once the traffic isn't so bad... Oh, we've got lane arrows in there. Okay, and once the traffic isn't so bad, you might want to turn that on again. There we go. And then we'll delete this guy here. Bing, because you're getting in the way. And then that will just keep going. And also, I'm going to stop the lane switching, because they don't need to anymore. No lane switching there. No lane switching there. So come in, get in, keep moving, come through here. And then spread out when you get down here. So they're not allowed to turn there. It's like they can't turn anywhere along here. Can they turn up here? They can turn up there. So they might sort of start coming through somewhere else. It's a bit silly, really, stopping all the turns. I mean, you could pop a little roundabout in there and let them turn. But now that that's spread out a bit, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But we just don't want the traffic back it up onto the highway like this that is that's a that's a real killer so now i'm going to look at these other roundabouts and any other roundabouts i find in the city because i don't think they've all been set up some of them have got the giveaway signs some of them don't have the correct junction restrictions on no like this so we want that so i'm going to go through all of the roundabouts in the city and then i will be back with you if ever you've got situations like this where you've got like a little bypass road coming round, you really want to do some lane mathematics here to get this to line up so this little bit here we're going to downgrade it uh, let's just see if there is a small road with some bus lanes. No. So we're going to do it without the bus lanes. They'll be fine. Uh, there we go. So we've got the one lane here plus the one lane there equals the two lanes. And the buses can sort of sort themselves out once they get down the road. So then we'll get that and say, uh, you can go there or there. If you're a bus, you can go there. And then coming through, it's already sort of done the lane mathematics anyway. So you can go there. Buses have got a turn anyway. So that's it. So that just keeps these guys moving through. And then we'll just say, you go through, you go through, and you go through. And that keeps it going. You don't have one on the other side. So that is fine. Right, I'm pretty sure I've got all the roundabouts. Let's just take a look at the traffic. Flipping heck. 70%. That is absolutely fantastic. Still got traffic despawning turned off. That is brilliant. Let's just uh, zoom in a bit and have a look at this. Look. That is just going absolutely brilliant. That is going brilliant. I mean, let's have a look around. We're going to have a few spots that are still very red just because they're so busy. So your cargo train terminal is stuck at this speed. It will take vehicles in at a set speed. It will spit vehicles out at a set speed. This is the slowest the whole thing will go. So then you need to just have space for all of your guys and girls, your trucks to back up without backing up onto your main road, which you sort of got going on here. It's then affecting this road here. It's affecting this road up here. Soon this will back up here and affect this road. So... We need to do something a little bit different over here. Do you know what? I think I'm just going to rebuild it out here. That's just going to be the best way to do it. Okay, there we go. We've got this set up out here now. So we're going to have to give it a few minutes for all the traffic to work out where they're going to. But when they come down here, as you will see, they will turn right. They will head up along here. So we've got a nice bit of queuing space. And then when they come down here... Uh, I probably need to just make this one lane, actually, rather than two. Yeah, one way, all the way along. That's that's better. There we go. And then this one here doesn't need to be this wide, then, does it? So we'll go for that road there. So let us go like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. There we go. And then to stop anybody going round again, we say, nope. You go up there, and you go down there. There we go. Excellent. And to make sure they keep moving, just put on the enter block junction thingy. They'll just keep moving through. And there we go. That should get that moving much, much better. There we go. And then what we're going to find is this traffic here is not going to be as bad. And this is definitely going down. It was all backed up to up here. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. That's all moving. Excellent. What are we at? 76%. I am shocked. I've got to be honest. I am shocked. This one here, look, we've got a situation with a slip lane coming up. Not enough lanes and roads and all that sort of thing. Let us sort that. You don't need bus lane. You've got... Oh, you've got bus stops right by... Oh, 
It's like my pet peeve, right by a flipping roundabout. And you've got bus stops all the way over there, look. Let's take those out. Don't need them. That's where you sort of need to use your common sense and say, that is really not going to help. Okay, it's taking a bit of fiddling and finagling. Uh, but we've got this junction working here now. So we've got three lanes coming down this way. That one can turn right. I've used the lane tools. These two can go straight on. And that is an asymmetrical road here. And then we've got those two lanes into those two lanes. On it goes. Coming off, we've got one lane plus one lane. And then they can join here. And again, this is because of the asymmetrical road. One lane coming this way. And then these two roads coming in from the top and the bottom. I've made them so they only turn... This one only turns right and this one only turns right and we've got the roundabout to either end if they want to turn around and come back and it's helping it's keeping things moving i've removed the bus stops on here you don't want bus stops on a big main road going through like this because you've got so many buses look i think i need to look at how many buses you've got on some of your lines but that has helped that has helped a lot let's take a look overall wow that is so much better look at this this is fine most of the red is just busy rather than traffic couple of I think there's a couple of lane things we can sort out here. Yeah, what you want here is you don't want your bus stops right by the right by the turn, but also I'm going to change that road there to be at one of these ones here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This one here. There we go. So we get dedicated lanes for what we're doing. I'm going to move those bus stops. Uh, let's move them back there. Let's move that back there. Let's watch the people run for the new bus stop. There they go. It's like a marathon. Who's going to win? The guy with the orange shirt's in the lead. Everyone's following up behind. We've got a few tourists. There we go. They're on the new one. And then when you come to here, you've now got enough lanes. If we use this tool here to say one lane for right, one lane for straight on, one lane for left. And that will just keep all of that moving. And then because we're going from one sort of road to another, we're going to say no lane switch in there. So you can go straight through. But then no one's ever going to turn right, are they? Yeah, what I normally do actually is just take out the bus lanes. It just makes it a bit silly. And there we go. And everybody can come up and do that. You could do the same on the other side. But that should hopefully get that moving. And you could even add a traffic light in there. There we go. It's a bit of a higgly piggledy mess in the middle. But look, that's now all cleared up going down there. Brilliant. Just going through your bus line. So I'm looking on here, like 22 buses on there for 103 people. And if we have a look, all these empty buses. So, I mean, good grief. We'll get that down to like 10. Half the buses on that. So, yeah, always worth checking. 62 vehicles. Oh, because the way the game works, I think it adds more vehicles depending on the length of the line or how many stops there is, something like that. There's not like an automatic way of having it do the correct amount for how many people. Look through here. 310323000. So many buses with like nobody. That is nuts. That is nuts. I mean, I'll drop that down to 20 and then what you want to do is come back and check that a bit later. But that's going to stop all of these stupid bus bus caterpillar lines that are just going everywhere and yeah making a complete mess of it all but there we go so we're finishing up at 85 percent traffic i think that is absolutely brilliant what do you reckon let me know in the comments below we have just fixed the world's largest roundabout intersection in the world check out the next video on the screen as well i'm sure you'll enjoy that and don't forget to leave a like i would very much appreciate that and subscribe too see you all soon take care everybody Bye bye